with all our, our top nine guys for you know, 28, 29, 30 minutes. Um, everything that we worked on the uh, last two days, I thought we were really sharp at. So it, SMU's not our next game. I don't have to go back and refocus them or fo focus them. These, these guys have a lot of pride. They do it themselves. What are your thoughts on Rob's assists total today? I told Rob that uh, in terms of um, execution, um, things that we emphasize in our program, uh, I thought that was his, his best basket, just being a basketball player, um, making the right play, being unselfish, letting the game come to him, playing free and, and natural. That's the best I've seen him play since he's been here. Rob, Rob is a really, really good player. And uh, he was starting to score a little bit the other night. He was starting to come back a little bit. But uh, defense, rebounding, passing, s steals, uh, activity on the weak side, uh, making the right play, I, I just thought he was outstanding. Gilvin, I know you've kind of addressed this before, but uh, the win gets you a get you a bye in the first round of the, of the tournament. I don't know if to, to use there an advantage or you know, you said in the past that you you know you could play it you'd play it and, and, and not necessarily have it but now that you have a buy now I wish everybody played on the same day that way to, I just think if you play first you have an advantage you know um, I remember my, my first year here we beat Tulane in the tournament the first game and then we're up seven against Tulsa we're nowhere near as good as Tulsa but Tulsa was you know they, they weren't they weren't right you know they were and plus, you have so many days off. You know, remember the year we lost to Tulane? We had nine days off. That's a long time. You, you, you lose your mojo. That's the problem with conference tournaments. You don't stay the same after nine days. We, played since, we beat Cincinnati on a Thursday. And we didn't play again until so, – so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So eight or nine days, whatever it is. I mean, that's a long time. I just don't like having that long off. I wish – you know, if you if you get a, if if you're off for eight days, and you're playing a team that had played the day before, to me that's a huge advantage. You know, I, I wish we were all playing the same amount of games instead of one game having a, a game under their belt to get the jitters out, to get um, uh, get back get back kind of in their groove and a mojo. It takes a while, you know. So, um, but at the same time, if you got to finish in the top four to get the buy, I'd rather finish in the top four. Coach, we had a, some mic issues at the beginning of this, not having you recap everything, but the way your team did come out from the start and kind of yeah. lay down how they were going to play this game. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a long season. You, you know, you're not going to um, – you know, we had to scale the mountain when we played Cincinnati. And then three days later, we had to get right back on top of that mountain and scale it when we played Temple. And then here we are right back again on the road. Um, you think about that stretch, Cincinnati at home, at Temple, at Memphis. That's a tough stretch, you know, and um, um, for five halves, we were fine. But the last half, we just, uh, we just kind of puttered out. But um, we addressed it. We knew we could play better, uh, and we knew we could get back on top of the mountain again. But I thought our, our preparation um, – uh, the last two days, uh, Friday and Saturday, and this morning, were outstanding. Um, we have we have good leadership on this team, and uh, Rob and Devin, uh, Wes, uh, th those three guys in particular, Galen, and those guys have a lot of pride. You know, they, they wanted to win that game the other night, but you got to play better. And so, um, you know, there's some challenges, there's some challenging stuff that went on, obviously, but uh, can't say enough about our. Um, um, the way we played it on both ends of the floor in almost every facet. You know, um, ball movement, rebounding, defense, uh, knocking down open shots. So it's a great bounce back win. Now, now we just move forward. It's just like the Memphis game's over. This game's over. You just move to the next one. Uh, Coach, is that the best you've seen Armani shoot to start off a game this season? No. No, he's had several games like that. Um, Arkansas. What other ones has he had like that? Uh, SMU was seven. What was he tonight? He's seven for nine. He, he's he's seven for nine against SMU the other night. Same thing. 
Is that the first time you've seen him? Yes. <laughs> then I then I understand why he asked the question. Now he's the the um, leading three point shooter in terms of um, um, makes in the league is Corey, and I think Armani's right there with him. So those two guys are high level three point shooters. It's a good question though. Well, we don't see Gabe as much, but the two really two memorable mm-hmm. games that he's had that he's come in have been the, the games that y'all hit the, the 18 threes. Is that to have a guy like that off the bench, and you know, I know he doesn't get minutes, but uh, seems to make the most of his minutes? Yeah. Um, there's always, you know, when you're dispersing plan times, you're having to make uh, personnel decisions. It's, it's never easy, you know. Um, you know, Gabe is... Um, is, is, is kind of in a, a, a different position. He's not really a four and he's not really a three, he, he, but he's a good basketball player. He can really shoot it. But um, I have a lot of respect for that young man. Uh, he's been in a tough situation, but he has never stopped working. His attitude has always been tremendous. Uh, I just think that when you do things the right way, uh, the good Lord will find a way to reward you, you know, if you'll just keep doing it the right way, have the right attitude, uh, treat people the right way, show respect uh, to people and to the game, and your t- when your time comes, you'll be rewarded. So I, I just think that way, um, in a game like today, when Gabe played like that, I just think there's a hand on him. Anything else? Coach Brad asked you on Wednesday. They lost a tough one to Wichita State. Yeah, tough game. Yeah, they're, they've, they've figured out how to play. Now, they've got excellent talent. You know, McMurray, uh, Imelago. Uh, Witt, uh, Shagwa, Agao, Douglas. Um, when I was at Oklahoma for a lot of years, I only played seven guys, especially this time of year. That was it, seven. Um, Eddie Sutton at Oklahoma State played seven guys, not eight, not, not seven guys. SMU plays seven guys, and all seven are good players. So um, they've got uh, a good system. They They put you in a tough position because they don't have they only play one big at a time so you've got to make a decision as a coach you know last year we played uh, uh, Galen Wes Rob and Dot when we went small the other teams you know they had seven foot and six ten they had to take one of those big guys out and put a guard in to match up with us and the same thing that SMU does they'll go small and they'll make you go small you know for us when we played them here uh, our small lineup um, helped us, but um, if you do, then you're taking away half our half our roster, because the strength of our teams are depth up front. You know, it's one of the things that's helped us is we play Devin, take him out. Here comes Fabian, that's pretty good. Twosome at the four spot. Well, the other thing is you got Breon, Chris, and Nura. You know, it's, uh, that's five guys. Uh, three of them won't even play, on, won't even see the floor probably because of the way SMU matches up. So they're a tough matchup for everybody. They gave Wichita State a f- fits. I think Wichita State beat them by six, 84-78. It's going to be a tough game for us. Anything else? No, nah, he, he, he grabbed his – he was going up for a rebound yesterday, and his, uh, his fingers got hooked in Mike out of Wimmy's jersey and snapped, and snapped it back. So he's just got some swelling around that knuckle on the top of his hand. So we're just going to hold him out. There was no way. I didn't even let him do anything this morning. He came out there, bounced around, wanting to jump into practice. I said, you know, slow down, Hoss. You ain't playing today. All right. Thanks, guys.